What do you want to eat? So the thing that's really trippy is again seeing that the the, the head, the mushroom head, as you call it, just blooming. So again, during the procedure, nothing should hurt. So if you feel anything a little sharp, you let me know. How many times did they try to treat it? With cryo, I had at least four times. Every week, ten days, something like that. And then, uh, like I said, I did it at home with the, the kit and the pads. And a little home freezing kit there or whatever. But, uh, so yeah, maybe half a dozen times. Okay. And really, no improvement, huh? No, not really. It's a tough one. Warts are really tricky to treat. <laughs> Definitely the big one, nothing. I mean, the smaller ones, like I say, some improvement, but to really... Uh, they, they, yeah, not too much. Well, I'm just going to explain to the camera so that they can hear too. Um, so they get freaked out. Why? It's like, why is this guy's foot all covered with tape? We have also two ones on the ball of the foot, but because of the, the look of them, because we're surgically removing this one, we're gonna treat those ones. And it's a good refresher for you. We're treating these two by the cream, by the acid. Uh, that way we can get rid of it without causing too much discomfort. You can still walk around with not too much discomfort because you can use the ball of the foot while we wait for this one to heal. They're typical warts, not too crazy. This is much larger, much larger. Normally, if it's on the toe, I just do an easy tourniquet right on the toe. If it's on the bottom of the foot, I'll use an ankle tourniquet. You got me stuck right in the middle <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how to apply a tourniquet. The reason is warts bleed like crazy because of all those little black dots, the blood supply that's feeding the wart. If it's too much blood, I can't see properly. And uh, that's no good because I want to make sure I get everything out. So I'm going to try to invent just a, a tourniquet I normally do for the toe, but I'm going to push it a little bit lower. That way, I do have some stoppage of, of blood. So you just relax. I know it's past Christmas, but I'm gonna be wrapping up your toe like a present. I know we didn't numb your whole toe, just that one spot. So if it does feel too uncomfortable, you let me know, okay? So I'm gonna try to put this a little low. I think I'm gonna try to get it right down there. You okay? Yeah. Sometimes if it's, I can see it's kind of blocking the ward. I'll see if I can move it a little bit. Any pain? No. Yeah, it's kind of blocking a little bit. I'll see if I can work around it. I'm going to try one last time. Saving the best for last today, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what I said, should have been the first appointment. <laughs> no, then I would have had to quit for the day, and that's it. Yeah. I'm done. So, see if I make it long to kind of grab some tension on your foot. I think that's gonna work. Because if I, I use something called epinephrine in the injection, there will be reduced bleeding. Hopefully it's good enough. If not, I might just have to throw on a tourniquet for a second, take it off for a second, then check again, put it back on. Did you want a cauterizer until the end? or Until the very end, yeah. And the acid that I also use 
should be in a relatively bloodless field. You okay like that? Yeah, I'm fine. Right, it works for you. Yeah, I can see the area a little bit better. So the cool thing about your work, as I was telling you earlier, is most people don't realize how big and deep planter works go, and that's because we're stepping on them. And in your case, we get to see how it kind of blooms out, which is pretty cool. If you feel anything sharpie, let me know, but you shouldn't feel anything more than pressure, okay? Sure. So all we really gotta do is make a small little line around the wart. Almost as a guideline so I can see where the wart ends and then I literally just have to scoop it out. Any pain? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, and you're not disappointed. It's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> like you said, if you're gonna go big. Yeah. Go, go big, right? Very big. So, you actually damage the structure of the toe there, or is it no, going to look okay afterwards? Yeah, it's going to look okay. So what happens, the warts, warts don't live deeper than the top layer of skin. So the, he, the skin will heal up like normal. It'll look nice and flat afterwards. The skin will fill in right behind it. Unfortunately, unfortunately my beautiful tourniquet, I don't know if it's doing so well right now. We'll see in a second. So what I'm doing is getting the bulk of this out, then scrape really well, and we go from there. But it's a big, big wart. And it always surprises me how sometimes, no matter how much acid or things we try, it just, it won't come out. It's just too thick. Yeah. And that's why surgery is a great option for certain warts. Do you see that? Yeah, well. It's like a little pellet. Yeah, that's what it feels like. It feels like <laughs> pea or corn or something, right? So. Unbelievably thick. So that's the bulk of it out. Now it's a matter of just clearing out the area around it, making sure there's nothing left behind. No pain? get some of this dead skin off if I can't see really well we might put on the ankle tourniquet but for now it's doing okay both if you need to <laughs> I guess you just hold your toe really tight <laughs> that'll do the job too Just trying to get all this warty tissue off. So realistically the cryo or even those home kits would have been no use, doesn't matter what we did with this one. It's, it's really hard, you know, because people do get warts treated with those options. And if you're really aggressive, if you're really having someone cut down really low on a regular basis and apply this, over time, it might have, yeah. potentially it might have worked. 
I think they went ahead when I was 18 or 20. I think maybe two or three treatments. It was gone and never came back. Right? So. Again, I'm going to try to rewrap this. If if it's relatively um, thin, then for sure it might have a chance on working. But or if I would have started earlier, maybe cut it earlier. Potentially, yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's a it's a possibility. Well, the fact that I got it, the majority out, I'm gonna just rewrap it. So I'm, I'm gonna make something up here. To hold that piece there. That's what I need to do. Much better. I told my wife they were just gonna amputate the toe, take out the thing, and then sew the toe back on there. Whenever well, that's what we're doing in a second. Yeah. <laughs> that was all for sure. Now we just cut it. Yeah, just cut it off, fix it, and put it back on. Uh, bleeding came back a little bit. I think when I had it the way I did, it was pretty good. Before I unrolled it one last time. The only reason, yeah, I had it pretty good. I just took off one extra layer, which I should have left on. Not hurting you? No. Yeah, we're gonna keep it like this. You okay? Yep. Again, really tricky spot. And that's why we always use some acid, some electricity afterward, just to make sure we cover all our bases and really reduce the chance of this coming back. Essentially, all it needs is a small amount of it that's alive or whatever to just start regrowing. Yeah. So that's why, you know, I try to take my time and I know you're numb, you're not feeling any pain, right? Try to turn it as many times until I see it properly and yeah. then we go. So what I'm doing is literally scraping the bottom layer, the bottom layer of the top layer of skin. Yeah. <laughs> Underneath that layer is muscle, tendon, fat cells, deeper structures that the wart's not in so we don't have to go anywhere that deep. Yeah, it looks good to me. So what we're gonna do, is apply electricity and apply the acid and we're all finished. The good thing about this, this also helps cauterize any of that bleeding so it helps slow it down a little bit. Well, I do enjoy challenge. And this has been a good one. Yeah. So we actually use this acid a lot on nail surgeries. When I'm removing a toenail, and we don't want the toenail to ever grow back, yeah. that's what we apply. So because it's bleeding a little bit, we're gonna just probably add a few more extra applications. Okay. <laughs> 
Let's get this guy off. Sorry if that was hurting you because it was on part of your foot that wasn't numb. So how are you going to dress it? You're going to put that antibiotic ointment right on the hole, right on the opening. Okay. You can apply a little bit of gauze or a band-aid depending on how you feel. Today I'm just going to put a few pieces of the gauze on. It's going to bleed. If it bleeds through, that's normal. Just change the bandage a little bit more often, okay? Because of the cream treatment that we're doing, tomorrow morning you can take everything off. Yeah. Or you can shower with it on, then take everything off, and then redo the dressing, okay? So just like how the tourniquet was really weird for me to put on, I'm gonna have to put on a weird dressing for this too. You okay? Yeah. The sooner you can get just, just the cream and a band-aid, the better. But having more gauze just gives you a little bit more padding. Yeah. So, tomorrow morning, shower with everything on, take everything off, dry the foot. For those two spots we're doing the cream on, don't have to do anything for. They're gonna turn black over, in the, over the next few days. This one, tomorrow after your shower, you just put on some cream. You can wrap it very similar. I'm gonna give you some uh, gauze and wrap so you can have some fun inventing something. Okay. If not, just the cream and a Band-Aid. Okay. We see each other in a week and we see how everything's doing, okay? Sounds good.